Let's practice making some spinning perspective ninja stars. So let's begin uh, with a new composition. And we'll make the composition very short. I'm just going to make it uh, two seconds in duration. NTSC widescreen. OK. And I'm going to right click, create a new solid. And we're just practicing here. I'm going to make the, the color blue because we want our ninja star to be blue. Click OK. And uh, this is where we're going to just use the uh, star tool. You can find it uh, at the top here. We're masking a star. Now, this is kind of interesting. Now, if you hold shift, it doesn't spin. We have a ninja star here. And uh, we're going to try spinning this. So you can see this is a blue solid. And if you go to transform, you can actually uh, uh, record the rotation. Now, if you record the rotation, so here's the beginning. And towards the end, I'm going to rotate it one time, which represents 360 degrees. Let's see what happens. It's rotating around this center point. So how can we edit this? I'm going to use a selection tool, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually double click into it. So when you double click into the composition, into the actual solid here, we're no longer in comp one. We're actually inside the deep blue solid. And now that you're inside, using the selection tool, you can even uh, click on it. Excuse me, you should select the entire uh, star first. And you can even use the arrow keys. If you press shift arrow, you can even move it more quickly. And now we have it centered. Let's go back to the big picture in comp one. So now when we're rotating it, you can see it actually rotates uh, on that pivot point. This is good. So we successfully created a ninja star. And of course, if you want to use a graphic, uh, you can always use a better graphic. Maybe you made it in Illustrator or Photoshop. Much better. So we created this comp one. Now let's practice another technique. I'm going to create a new composition. And this is just going to be two seconds as well. And this new composition is going to contain comp one. So the comp one was the ninja star comp. It's going to actually contain it. So here's my ninja star. And what's interesting about this comp is it actually has a nice background. I just found an image off the internet. I'm going to drag this uh, beautiful scene here. You can uh, even move it around. And imagine creating a fight scene where you're throwing ninja stars. But not only are you throwing ninja stars that are rotating si sideways, you're also throwing it in perspective a little bit in 3D. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to make the comp one layer a 3D layer. So just hit this little box here. This makes it a 3D layer. And then I'm going to right click here and go new camera. So just click OK. And so this camera is going to affect this 3D layer. So I'm going to choose the orbit camera tool. It looks like a circle. And as you orbit around, it actually makes the uh, the ninja star look like it's it's uh, it's coming at an angle. You can try playing with the scales and all those kind of things and record those keyframes. But this is pretty powerful. So it's interesting to note that the background is not affected, but the camera, as we orbit it, does affect the 3D layers. Excellent practice.